Hi everyone, this is Sean. Welcome back to my channel. Please press the like button, subscribe, share, comment. Please, please, please dialogue with other subscribers on this channel. I appreciate when all of you do that. I'm actually on my way to work, so I'm gonna actually make this a, a short video. So today's video, I'm gonna talk about what types of post you should avoid. In this video, I'm not going to talk about avoiding marijuana dispensaries, even though I know that a lot of you work the marijuana dispensaries. I'm not going to talk about avoiding bars or clubs, even though I know a lot of you work at bars or clubs. We're not going to be talking about those types of environments, but I want to talk about an environment that will destroy your body over time. And that is avoid a post where you're just standing and there's no place to sit. When you're just standing, and you're holding more or less maybe 13 pounds of, of equipment. It is going to play a hard toll on your back. Your neck also, your, so your neck, your upper back, your mid back, your lower back, your hips. Um, there's so many ailments that come with working a standing post. When you're out there job hunting, look for a post where there's perhaps an ability to sit down maybe for five minutes at least every hour I like the post where you can you can basically uh, you could sit you you could take your brakes in your POV that stands for personally owned vehicle maybe every hour um, or maybe you have a patrol vehicle those are the posts that you want to gravitate towards because guys and gals I'm telling you you stand for eight hours 12 hours 16 hours a day it hurts it's it's gonna impact your back not only in the short term but in the long term it, it, it's af after a couple of years of doing private security you're gonna feel it guys it's it's not normal for a human being to stand for 8 12 or 16 hours so look for those posts where you're able to at least every hour sit down for five minutes um, sit down in, a, in your own vehicle sit down in a company vehicle Maybe sit down behind a desk as well, or maybe have a chair nearby, or maybe an area where there's a chair that's around the corner that's out of public view. Just an area where you can take those, you could take those sitting breaks because it will play a, a toll on your body. I'm actually, um, at, at my full-time job, I'm trying to get onto this collateral duty. I don't want to explain what it is right now because they haven't, that duty doesn't exist right now. They're having tryouts. Anyhow, there's a physical agility exam that, that comes with it. And it's a physically demanding physical agility test. I'll, I'll tell you this, I'm trying to lose, I'm trying to lose about 17 pounds. So I've been losing about a pound a week. This test is in less than two weeks. I don't know if I'm gonna meet my goal, but what I'm trying to do is I'm trying to shed all those pounds so that when I do my sit-ups, I do my push-ups, I do my runs, I'm not carrying that extra baggage on me. Because guys, in addition to your 13 pounds, maybe even five pounds of weight or 10 pounds of weight, you have your fluffy weight that, come, that comes with you. So imagine you're, you're carrying an additional 13 pounds of gear. And I know some of you that are military are saying, 13 pounds, that's it? I carry 20, 30 pounds. <laughs> I... <laughs> I'm not talking about you guys, but you guys also know that, hey, look, imagine you're in the military, you're carrying 20, 30 pounds of weight, and then you're fluffy, okay? Being fluffy and carrying all those pounds of weight is not gonna help. So if I need to lose 17 pounds of weight, that's gonna allow me the ability to carry 17 more pounds of weight. Hopefully that makes, that makes sense. But guys, please, please exercise. If you, if on your post, if you have to swipe those DTEX wands, also known as electronic clock, at every location of your post, um, I have to do that working at the hospital, working at the malls. It's a, it is a pain in the butt, but you got to make, you got to bring some positivity into that. I, I hate being micromanaged. So what I did is when I had to swipe at every location on my post, I would make it a positive activity. So I would try to beat my time. So if normally it would take me five minutes to get from one place to another, I'd try to do it in four minutes. I would just speed walk. So I'd get a workout out of it. And it, it helps, guys. And I'll do another video on whether or not this clock system works. I wanna, I'm threading, I'm 
treading on saying this ridiculous clock system, detox system, but detect system, but I'll talk about that in, in another video. You guys all take care, be safe, and try, try not to be too fluffy.